Hey y'all, hey, Mand here, and today we have the September Kinder Beauty Box to share with you guys. It actually arrived today. Today's October 1st. You probably won't see this video until I believe October 5th, but they did send several update emails indicating that one of the products in the box was having some shipment delays, so I'm not mad about that. I just like being kept in the loop, and it came today, so let's go ahead and take a look at what came in the box. So here we have our little card, and from the card it appears we are getting five products in today's box. So let's go ahead and start looking at them. So the first product that came in the box is the JNL Naturals um, Growth Hair Hair Serum. So it looks like it has grape seed oil, coconut oil, olive oil, jojoba oil, argan oil, castor oil cedarwood and vanilla so it seems like this is just a whole bunch of oils which if you tend to have oily hair it's probably gonna be a little problematic for you trying to get this to your scalp for growth purposes uh, I would say treat it like a mask and maybe wear it overnight if you shower in the morning wear it for a while in the evening while you watch your evening shows and then shower at night if you're a night shower but I will say, do not expect much out of this. This, to me, seems a little bit snake oily. I feel like you would actually need something a little more pharmaceutical in nature to get your hair to grow. It, I don't even know if there is anything that you can apply topically to get your hair to grow. I, I mean, I've heard of people using castor oil, but I don't know if there's any actual science to that. I would say... For $27.10, don't expect miracles from this because getting your hair to regrow seems to me to be like a rather monumental task. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to test it out and give it a try. Next item we have from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Daikon and Dreams Lip Exfoliator with Radish Extract. So here is the box. Here is the little product. And so I actually already took plastic off and opened this. And I have to say, I hate the seal that comes on this. It was stuck on there while it was hanging on for its dear life. I could not get it all off. I had to just poke through it, which drives me nuts. I'm someone that needs to remove every little bit of a seal. It, ugh, I'm sure some of you feel me, like that annoys me, the fact that that's like that. But it does have a really nice, sweet, sort of nondescript light scent, and I'm sure it'll be an interesting exfoliator. So I'm excited to try this. The next item is from Piper Y, and it is their Cleansing Hand Gel Lemongrass Blend. And I have to say, this is the picture they sent, which makes it seem kind of exciting. A whole hand gel and a pump. This is the item you get. This teeny, teeny, tiny little thing. And I'm sure that there's no, yeah, there's no way to actually dispense this nicely you just gotta squeeze it out of this huge hole so i'm sure you're always going to end up with more product than you need that aside i don't think any of us are mad about getting hand gels or you know cleansing gels at this time during the current world climate so i'm certainly going to use it up but i it's a little disappointing to be honest and it says this retails for two dollars i don't know if that's the full size they have pictured in the pamphlet or if that is a like altered price for however much this contains which i don't know the print is like crazy tiny is it making me feel a little point two five fluid ounces or i don't know this is too tiny to even read but yeah exciting and disappointing at the same time Next product is by Pixie by Petra. Sorry, that was my email. And this is the Pixie Beauty Hello Beautiful Face Case in LA Angel. So here is the product. You can see the colors. They're very like fall toned and they've kind of got those really beautiful like rusty red colors. So this is 
got a little plastic seal on it. I'm going to leave that. I don't want to open this because I am unlikely, in all likelihood not going to use this just because I generally don't use eyeshadow. I think it's a really nice addition to the box and I think most people will find this super exciting. I think it's exciting too. It is a beautiful product and it's a cool thing to get in the box but I just know I don't use eyeshadow. I'm just lazy, I just don't. Like it's a very rare occasion for me so I'm probably gonna end up giving this away or gifting it or selling it or something. So I'm going to leave this fully sealed but I think you can get a good idea of what the colors look like. So there's these 4B3, so 12 eye colors and three cheek colors and they're really beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It says this would retail for $24 and I also didn't mention this was retailing for $24 as well. So yeah, pretty cool palette. Um, the last product is not really a traditional product. I'm just going to go ahead and open this. It is from Etitude. It is their Bamboo Silk Eye Shade in Glow. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. It's an eye mask. To say it does feel very silky got a nice loose stretch hopefully that wouldn't leave too much of a line on your hair and yeah I'm gonna have to give this a try I prefer to use these kind of things like on a plane I don't necessarily use them at home a lot but I'm going to give it a try and see how I like it so overall I don't want to call this box a miss but I wasn't as excited for these products. This lip scrub, I know it's something I will actually absolutely use, so that is pretty cool. I wish I could be more excited for the cleansing hand gel, but this is the teeniest, tiniest little impractical sample. I hate when samples are sent in packaging that isn't thought through. Like if you're going to take the time to create all this little packaging for the sample, it should actually I don't, be conducive to the product itself and this little thing with the huge head you're never going to get the right amount of product out of here i'm just not a fan of that but i will use this so at least there's that then the other products um i just feel like this is phony baloney i'm gonna use it i'm gonna give it a try but i do feel like this hair growth serum is sort of phony baloney this really isn't a beauty product i guess it's more of a lifestyle product and i I'm probably not going to use it that much. I'll keep it for when travel is reinstated and I can use it on an airplane, but eh, I can get one of these myself for like a dollar or something. And this is a gorgeous palette, but I'm just never going to use it. So that's not really a miss on the box. It's just a miss for me personally. So yeah, I think I am going to keep going and get another three months of the box subscription to see what else comes but I don't love this one we'll see how the next three go um sorry to um so much I hate when I have to hear other people um so I know it's annoying to hear me um but I'm gonna give it another three months and see how it goes I have had some fun products in the box so we'll see we'll see and if the next three months are kind of lackluster, then I'm probably just going to cancel. But we'll see how the next three months go. And as always, when these products are finished, you will see them in my empties video with my thoughts and reviews. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. If you'd like to stick around for a while, you can hit the subscribe button, which should be right under the video. And if you are interested in my weekly blog posts, you can check out amandaphenomenon.com. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye!